Welcome to 3 Minutes with ARC-2. I am a radiological scientific officer, and this is our nuclear survival complex. This video is about talking to the walking dead. In other videos, I explain about the nature and effects of radiation. And I certainly hope that you have looked at those before watching this one, because it will certainly help you to better understand what we are going to talk about here. Before fallout arrives, we try to triage families at the Ark 2 shelter and get as many children as we can into the shelter. Now, this video is about what we will do after the fallout starts arriving. People often ask me when we will go into lockdown, and I reply, perhaps never. Here, I will explain what may happen. If the radiation is not too intense, say like 10 R per hour. We would send out men to man the barricades on the road leading to Arc 2. They would stand there as friendly as could be, without guns or anything like that. We aren't stupid. They'd be under hidden watchful protection. You can follow along the dialogue. Hi folks, where are you from? About 20 miles south. Been walking along? For the last two days, can we get into the shelter? Sorry, it is full, so you will have to continue on. So what is going on here? These people have been out in the radiation for 48 hours, and maybe even sleeping on the ground, getting full body radiation. 48 times 10 R is 480 R. They are the walking dead. If they aren't feeling the effects already, they will soon be. So, how come our guys are so nonchalant? Well, I would try to keep them under 100 R. That means if I send them out for four hours at a time, I can send them out two or three times before they're replaced with someone else. If the traffic isn't continuous, we may even provide them an expedient shelter that they come out of when traffic comes by and like which we will provide for their protectors. If someone has a particular skill that we want and they don't have too much exposure, say even up nearing 300 R, we might take them in, even though we know that the radiation may cause them cancer 20 years from now, if they can be productive in the meantime. Hi guys, are you from around here? Si sí, senor, we are from Mexico and have been working at a farm 10 miles north. Great, come on in. We'd certainly rather have 50 of you guys than 500 brokers from down on Bay Street. So, can we bring in our children? Now that is a problem. Children are much more susceptible to radiation. And with that much radiation, they're going to die before they can become productive. War is hell. Thank you for watching. And please remember that these videos are not just about your survival, but about the reconstruction of society afterwards. It's the end of the world.